Okay, this is the Ozark Trail 15 person tent 25 by 10 3 room tent This is the front door wet weather test uh, I took off I did have some visqueen up at the top because of the cold weather I had it under the rain fly and on top of the framing of the tent it did pretty good kept the cold weather out of the vents because there's no way to you got the screening here and then the rain fly and then you got your vent that comes down over the edge well this is the door it has these poles in it so it has a slight dome when you lift it up it has a dome and it's pretty neat it has a little uh, loop here so you can hang a light or a lantern or whatnot. Now, when you close the door, it zips down from the top on both sides, but it doesn't zip across the bottom. So when you close the door, the screen comes in, it has a slight gap there. I set something up across it. Now, when it started raining this time, it was downpour, and I didn't have the door closed. So I had to door lifted up so I could see outside during the daytime. It started leaking a little bit here. What that was is this door was lifted up. The rain was coming down this seam and blowing the side and it was just pouring right out through the seam here. I closed the door, put some up across there, and now you can see it's not really leaking. So, uh, no, not leaking, which is awesome. It doesn't have a back pump bottom, and that's okay because it's pretty much watertight. It doesn't leak at the seams. The only problem last time that I had was in this bedroom. Kind of bit of water right down there in that corner. we are seeing here where the back the bedroom one to the main living room there. The back door is awesome. It lifts out, goes out at an angle, or if you, if you have some post or something, you can lift it out further. I just have it down at an angle. I don't have extra posts for it, so that's cool. Uh, really roomy. Huge. Unfortunately, it's cluttered right now. I got all my stuff in there. Got some rope hanging across there. I love these corner loops, the little loops in the corners, all four corners, the end of the ceiling at top where you can hang a lantern. So I tied a line across here, a little dry time going from the towels and socks and whatnot, you know. Water tie, it's a rain fly, it's really coming down now, loving this Florida weather. These windows are awesome. They, they zip down and then you just pull them right and tuck them right into that bottom section there. Tuck them right down in there. Just, just don't even have to climb up or nothing. Got these awesome little pouches. There's a vent for a, you can either have it as a vent for the air, the breeze, or whatnot, put a little fan there. Or you can stick a window AC unit in there or whatnot. It's awesome. There's another one of these. Three big windows in each bedroom. About uh, 10 foot, uh, 9 foot area here. Awesome. Got all my stuff in that one. Couch is there for your stuff by the front door. Big, nice seven foot ceiling in the middle. Uh, six foot in the edges, which is awesome. Uh, like cabin like door tent. The only thing is about these interior doors that I don't like, it's not that they zip around. That That's okay if they zip around like that. So I put right here, as you can see, I grabbed it with one hand one night. He was trying to close it, and it the uh, zipper got stuck on, on uh, something here, just right on the edge. You can see it got stuck right on the edge there. 
And when I went to tug on it, it just ripped the whole side of the wall and all the way down the bottom of the zipper ripped all the way that side. So I'm going to have to get this replaced, the whole tent replaced just because of that zipper. And one of those posts one night, some guy was trying to break into my tent. And I told him I didn't want him on camp. And he was tugging on the zipper there trying to get it open. The post shot through uh, the corner. There's a little, uh, not quite, not really Velcro, but it's almost like a canvas patch on the corner there that holds your tent post. It's like a tent post that goes across as an X and makes your dome. Now, and you sit through, I just duct taped it. It's holding up pretty good until I can get the whole thing, the whole tent replaced. So, other than that little bit of water from having the door open, this is my bag, you know. This is just kind of like a design flaw. I don't know. I think they should have had something to hold this screening out where when you have your door open or closed, you don't have that gap down there. I don't like that gap down there. Especially when it's cold. That gap ain't nice. <laughs> it is not your friend. Now that's a big room. A big area for the food. Cooking. It's a little messy right now. Sorry about the mess. I have two twin beds, which equals a king size bed set up in here. Plenty of room left over. There's dog bowls and luggage and whatever. You put a table up there. And this room's the same. You got the pouches there and there. Three big windows. No leaks. And the rain's really coming down. I think he's got a little vent here when it gets cold weather, but it seals up pretty good. No, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for, like, I, I was down in the 30, de 30 degrees the other day, 28 degrees, and it got a little chilly, even here in Florida, but then, again, yesterday, it was near 80. It was beautiful. I took the Visqueen off today, and it's just... It's doing awesome. Nice and cool in here. Not too hot, not too cold. There's the leaves on top from a couple of trees. Loops inside both sides of the door. The front door. Got my trash hanging for one. And a big, nice, about 10 foot by 10 foot area for the main area here. I gotta really clean this up. <laughs> I gotta get a stand or something for my food and utensils or something to pitch in that. They make the portable ones at Walmart or Target for 60 bucks or so. I think you get $100. A wash stand. And cooking stand and it's just great a little bit wetter but that was from having the door open I was having this bigger my pup loves it don't you angel angel what you doing oh sorry baby didn't mean to wake you up Ooh. another van in here it's for the air conditioner. No water. Dry in the corners. I didn't even put any seam sealer. I didn't put tent sealer. Anything in here. So you could easily put two families in this tent. Even. Put a couple in here. A couple of people there. Four or six people in here. Four or six people in there. Same in the middle. Huge tent. I'm loving this. Nice high ceiling. Got the loop in each room. Loops in the corner. Each corner. Nice 
cabin style room. Just awesome. Ooh, look at that. 25 feet long. 10 feet from side to side, or front to back. 25 from side to side. Now it says three minute put up two people. Well, I popped it out from from the box. Had a little bit of difficulty figuring out how to uh, unpack it. I mean, once I got it out of the box, how to, how to unfold it with the post. They're all attached to the to the uh, brandy to the tent. The ring fly is separate. Two people, it took us about 20, 25 minutes, and we had it up and then put it. And another five minutes to get the rain fly on, it took two people, one on each side, and then pull it all the way down. You know, had to attach the ends, and then we had to, had to attach it. We had some loops uh, that attached the tent to the framing, and also the rain fly to the framing. Well, about a half hour to put it up compared to three minutes that it told me it would. The center. Huge. Got a nice little loop there. I gotta get some lights in. The front door. Pouches, both sides. Pouches, I'm gonna put some, put some utensils in there. Over here, I got some. Clean up other trees and such. Yeah, it's the kind of strong pouches. I'm in the netting. Not bad, not bad at all. And it was on sale at rollback prices. So, it's pretty awesome. I got the insurance, thank the Lord. I got the insurance because of that rip. But the problem is, I have to buy a new tent, set it up put this one down and take it back to the store for a refund, so... Just because of that stupid design flaw, I think that they should have had like uh, a piece of webbing or netting, uh, strong canvas going all the way from that side, all the way over there, and all the way up the side of the door. Kind of like this stuff, because this is one seam, it's just not strong enough to hold the zipper. It's not strong. See, you go to tug on it, and it, it'll rip the whole side off. And that ain't cool. End up like that, without a door. But the doors are awesome. You zip and close, get privacy, each room is closed. Of course, it's a tent, so you don't want to be making a lot of noise for your neighbor. And of course, putting food inside a tub or cooler or whatnot. I cleaned it up. It started raining, so I didn't really kind of toss everything in here. I got some pictures of the outside. So it dries up. Uh, I'm going to clean up this. Of course, I put something down to the floor. I don't have any uh, padding, so I put this, I didn't put a tarp under it. I don't have any, like, mats to put down, so I used a little packing blanket and blanket here. It's just from destroying the, the uh, tent bottom. Of course, it comes with a nice size patch, about a foot by foot or 10 inch by 10 inch. And nice little back to the floor, but really nothing for the wall. Can't really, especially on that zipper part, can't fix that. <laughs>